conscious Speaking to you yeah. Fuck everyone that wants to ride the dick now All right, YouTube, <laughs> what is going on? It's your boy, Jerez, back at it with another episode of Real Talk. And today's topic, Nick Fuentes, because he appeared on <laughs> Fresh and Fit. And, <laughs> well, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. He said, nigga. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So um, he was on a panel or the podcast, whatever you want to call it, with uh, a bunch of black females. Uh, notice all the weave. Uh, this shit is kind of unbelievable. <laughs> Especially a uh, homegirl over here with the blonde thing going on. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> so Nick Fuentes, the alleged racist, well, public enemy number one, according to black people, even though I know the truth, but we'll get into that in a second. But Nick Fuentes, the white supremacist number one in the year 2023, um, he was on Fresh and Fit with a bunch of uh, black females, and he decided to uh, say the word nigga after he was kind of like, <laughs> like given the approval to say it by these chicks. But uh, shout out to Black Conservative Perspective. I'm just going to borrow this little bit from your video because I'm too lazy to find the clip myself. So, without further ado, let's get it. Um, unfortunately, missed out on the rally tickets to see for myself. Yeah, uh, Blacks love me because I'm honest. <laughs> blacks love me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would, it'd, be, it'd be better if you said Black people. It, it's kind of weird when you say Blacks and not Black people. But again, he's a socially awkward white dude. I know plenty of white guys just like him, but it is what it is. We don't believe you, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't know who the chick was that said, uh, we don't believe you, bro. I'm willing to bet it's this uh, earthy looking chick right here with the shaved parts of her head and this red freaking rope. But we'll get into it. How she refer to blacks then? How she refer to blacks? Uh, you don't want to hear my second chat. Oh, look, she even said it, black people. And to be fair, I have not watched this clip all the way through. I watched like 10 seconds of it, and then I was like, yeah, um, I'm going to make a YouTube video about this. Joyce. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... <laughs> Naggerst! <laughs> It's funny. You should actually do stand-up sometime. Maybe it would have actually been Maybe. It's not that he's funny, it's just that he's honest. And we're so accustomed to the fake society that we live in. It's like when you hear somebody being completely honest and genuine, it's just like, wow, this is nice and refreshing. Like you meet somebody who's just 100% straightforward about what they think and what they believe in. You're just like, oh my God, wow. I think she's joking. Okay. <laughs> no. I so. Do it, man. do it. No, I can't. Hey, how's it again? No, yeah. And then look at this super chat right here. It says, Myron, please introduce them to Thomas Sowell. They're sowing this roots nonsense that's been debunked. Alex Haley admitted it's a lie. He wanted his black Americans believe. Yeah. Well, I do it next so you can get banned. But I do uh, watch and listen to Thomas Sowell. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you can get banned again. Right. <laughs> Well, you can say it. Yeah. Say it. Come on, man. I want you to say, say it. it for oh, real. Yeah. What you got? You want me to say it? Yes. yes. See, they're goading him. They're goading him. And these are the black women that complain about racism all the time. And they're having a quote unquote white supremacist dropping in by. I'm like, what is this, bro? Is, is anyone going to hit me if I say it? No. 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 <sighs> I love it because this just literally shows that this, all this shit about racism and white supremacy and him being a white supremacist, it's, it's fake as fuck, bro. <laughs> it's just a narrative. And he's grifting off of it to make a lot of money. So I'm not mad at you, bro. I'm not mad at you. I'm low key doing the same thing with black people. I just go around triggering blacks on Facebook and YouTube. And yeah, I'm starting to monetize it. Uh, so yeah. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Let's give Nick a round of applause.
Yeah. Why do you have a bullhorn inside, bro? Yeah, he dropped it with the ER. Let's go. I bet all the <laughs> I bet all the freaking slave masters and white supremacists are down just looking like <laughs> my supremacy at work. Yo, it is amazing to me how a word can get everybody so bad, bro. What do you mean by that? Yeah, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. A saying that seems to be lost in amongst blacks. Oh, Wait, hold on. Yo, we asked for it. Yeah, yeah, asked for it. it. Oh, yes. We didn't ask for it. You guys asked for it. Bruh. And then they literally turn right back around and then say, we didn't ask for it. Come on. Let's see what you got. Hold on. Here. Can't. Hey, hey, can hey, 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 no, I can't. Hey, how fitting in here? Yeah. Do it. Do it next so you can get central. banned again. Right. <laughs> so right here, this this light skinned chick, do it next so you can get banned again. You can say it. Say it. Come on, man. I want you to say, say it. it for oh, real. And then uh, you got the producers saying that they're on uh, locals, I guess, and Rumble because you can. I think you can say whatever you want on Rumble too. Don't quote me though. Hey, oh, hey, what you got? I want to hear it. What you got? Hold up. Let me let me rewind. Come it. on, man. I want you to say it. Oh. Here, here. I'm, I'm gonna slow it down. This chick right here with the rope in her head. Say it. Yes. 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 So is anyone gonna hit me if I say it? No. Come on, Nick, what you got? Come on, Nick, what you got? That's actually amazing. So they literally wanted him to say it. <laughs> and then they go, we didn't want him to say it. Okay. So here's the deal, right? I'm about to hit y'all with some... Uh, Real talk. Before I get up out of here and go play me some uh, Overwatch. <sighs> God. Nick, he is literally just a regular ass white dude slightly socially awkward i've met plenty of dudes like him whether it be back when i was in middle school high school when i joined the military i've met plenty of dudes literally just like him carbon copies of him and so now you have a white dude who's not i don't know he's not um like as well versed socially as maybe you would expect him to be now he realizes that hey um i can go and say a bunch of things that i might not necessarily 100 percent agree with but you know at the end of the day other races get to say that they're proud to be black hashtag pro blacks um black pride hispanic pride whatever the case may be but for some magical reason when you say you're proud to be white and i guess i don't think white pride is a term but when you're pro your race as a white man you're deemed a racist i don't see the problem with it it's actually kind of hypocritical to me that blacks can go around and say that they're pro black and yeah black power all day but you know you can't go white power shout out to clayton bigsby but and now this dude realizes that there's money to be made in his uh grifting that he's doing like let's let's just keep it a buck he's just saying what is making him money right now look look at what happened he's been on just pearly things he's been on fresh and fit he's had these speaking engagements and all these rallies and stuff like dude is just literally as black people say getting to the bag oh my god but y'all don't want to hear that, do you? Because he's saying things that y'all don't like and it's hurting y'all's feelings. 
So, uh, yeah, eat your heart out, uh, black people. Uh, this dude is just a regular old, just basic white dude just saying what is making him money right now. I don't blame him. Hell, I'm doing the same thing, just I'm doing it in reverse by triggering black folks because I'm supposed to be pro-black and you're an, you're an intelligent young man and you should be using your voice to uplift black people. Like, nah, fuck that. Fuck the collective. If you an individual who just happens to be black and you got common sense and I rock with you, cool. But as far as just siding with black people just because their fucking skin is black, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So with that, it's been your boy Jerees, back with another episode of Real Talk. I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm out. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind. Open up your skull, stop living life blind. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind. Open up your skull, stop living life blind. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind. Open up your skull, stop living life blind. Before you go, you need to tap into your mind.